What's good people, it's your boy Rhino, welcome to MGTV. If this is your first time watching, as I always say, please subscribe, please put post notifications on. And as always, tell a friend to tell a friend, like the video man. Listen, Manchester United, please do not mess this up. That's word to Steffi G. Don't mess this up. <laughs> First, we have the situation with Hoyland and his back injury this week, and us hearing all these new pieces of news. And now we've got this palaver with West Ham and Manchester United. Obviously, I've seen reports of the fact that West Ham are looking at um, James Ward Prowse. And if you ask me, if I'm going to pick between James Wood Price and Matt Tomine, it's not even a question. So if now West Ham are looking at James Wood Price instead of Matt Tomine, what is this Matt Tomine deal done? What what are we saying, people? You know. Listen, let me just pull up the news. So first we have. Let's pull up the Matt Tomine news first. Let me show you guys what we're working with right now. So, Manchester United are prepared to soften their £45 million valuation stance on Scott McTominay if West Ham agreed to 10 mil in additional add-ons. That's one piece of news, yeah? Cool. Then we have another part here. West Ham are close to signing Harry Maguire. The issue remaining is the wages... Maguire is due for Manchester United in comparison to what he would get at West Ham. We always knew that would be an issue. Okay, moving on to the next um, piece. Pause. Because of all, all, all you pause police out there. David Moyes has promised Harry Maguire that he, he will become West Ham captain if he joins. Yeah. And I think this is interesting because I feel like if Maguire, that's a very good incentive to move to West Ham. You know, I get the whole transition in coming from such a big club like Manchester United and being the captain of Manchester United and being a first team choice for England as an Engl English international. But... Harry Maguire needs to see the writings on the wall now, man. And if you've got a chance to be West Ham captain and be kind of like the best, I don't know if he wants to class himself as one of the best defenders for that club and represent that club and hold them up high, he's going to have to lower his pride, man, and just move on and accept the situation that he's in. You feel me? Um, yeah, man. I just feel like the time's up for him, but... What are Manchester United doing? That's, that's This is my issue. Like, I know we're kind of haggling with the price, but we need to let these players go. Number one, because the season's starting next week and we have, to, we have to get players in. And number two, just to start this whole refresh with, okay, you know, all the players are out. Let's just move forward and start focusing on, focusing on the season. Literally. Um... What else is there? Let me read a few points that I have here. Um, and then we can kind of speak about it. Let me see something. Um, okay, cool. So let me share this um, page, as always, because I like you guys to visually see it. So here we have... Um, so, West Ham will have to pay £85 million pounds to sign Harry Maguire and Scott McTominay in a double deal. A compromise can be reached between West Ham and Manchester United for Scott McTominay worth around £40 million. Pounds. Manchester United have three or four transfer targets at both centre-back and central midfield in case Harry Maguire and Scott McTominay leave. West Ham and Manchester United are not far away from a greener deal for Harry Maguire. There is optimism that the deal will be done. Um, 
And another part here. Talks continue between West Ham and Manchester United over Harry Maguire and Scott McTominay. West Ham are closer to a compromise for Harry Maguire than Scott McTominay. And that's what I kind of wanted to get into next. Because I saw um, somewhere that Ten Hag is happy to keep McTominay. I'm not sure how true this is. But if we get a good offer for him, at least £40 million, he will take it. Listen, man. I just hope we can get rid of both of them. You know, let them move on. They're not right players for this club. They're not first choice. Accept the situation and move on, you know. Previously, we've been paying these players high wages. When it's time to move on players, we don't do it at Manchester United. And that's a key problem that we have at this club. So, let's just hope. If Maguire and McTominay go, I'm telling you, I'm screaming Myrtle Madness just for, just for the outgoings. <laughs> Obviously, I want Myrtle out because we need to have more competent people on board. But I, ex I appreciate the effort he's putting in, but he's doing his job. He's doing the job he's supposed to do. So, because we've been starved of competent work, now he's actually competent. It feels like it's a miracle. But realistically, he's doing the standard. <laughs> I'm just trolling, like, when I say this whole Myrtle Madness stuff. But, you know, it will be a big change for Manchester United if we can get rid of Maguire, get rid of uh, McTominay. Fred apparently is definitely leaving, as I've always reported. Um, who else? And Van der Beek. That's four exits, plus Alanga, five. Alanga's already gone out the window. So... If we can get five exits, I think that's the most I've ever seen, like I said. So, let's just hope, man. But, um, please, Man United, don't mess this up, man. Um, especially if West Ham are starting to look at Ward Price, Ward, Ward Prowse. Once that situation advances, none of these players are going. I think Mac Maguire might still look like he's going. But McTominay, I want him to go as well. So, listen, United. Let's just hope we can um, nip this in the bud and get both of these both of these players out, man. Because at the end of the day, man, we need to start moving forward. We're looking at um, Tadaibo. We're looking at Amrabat. Let's get these players gone in United, man. Please don't mess this up. And that's the message I have. And that's it, to be honest. There's nothing more. Nothing more to comment on. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. Um, yeah, this is where it is at this point. So be sure to like the video if you haven't already. Please tell a friend to tell a friend. And make sure you subscribe to post notifications on. It's your boy Rhino and I'm out. Peace. Hey, I swear firms are red pattern this. Red pattern this.